Hello friends, my name is Tejendra Jangir. Here I am discussing the solution of ISRO paper 2013 electrical. Okay. And uh, for the next video is coming soon for the further solution of this paper. And coming soon solutions are power uh, previous year paper of engineering, power electronics, PSB, bra, EMFT, Matthew and OCIDQ, electromagnetic SOMS outline series, signal system SOMS outline series and many more. So don't forget to subscribe my channel that ABCD education that anybody can download education. Okay. Now come to the question number one. The starting torque of the three phase induction motor can be increased by increasing rotor resist, reactance, resistance, stutter resistance none of above now come to the solution we know that the, these are the correct torques and characteristics of the three phase induction motor if uh, the resistance that is r2 days then the starting torque is this if the resistance is increased from r2 days to r2 days one then the starting torque will increase from that point this point okay if we further increase the resistance from r2 days one to r2 days two then the resistance is increased Mm, this then the starting torque will increase further increase okay so the starting torque is increased by increasing the rotor resistance okay so the correct option is b now come to the question number two the capacitor start capacitor run single phase induction motor is operationally single phase motor two phase motor three phase motor ac series motor now come to the solution these are this is the winding of the three single phase induction motor for the capacitor start and run capacitor run single phase induction motor auxiliary winding is placed in the series with the uh, series with the series with the auxiliary winding series with the capacitor okay so due to this this winding is uh, lead by 90 degree okay okay this is the auxiliary winding which is which is in series with the capacitor due to this these uh, due to this two phase field are created which are e which are uh, phase out by 90 degree to each other due to this it is called two phase motor okay now come to the question number so the correct option is b two phase motor now come to the question number three what would happen if the field of the dc shunt motor is open now these are the option now come to the solution this is the uh, dc shunt motor if the field is get open due to this shunt field is become zero due to this the speed will dangerously high because the shunt field is zero then the uh, one upon zero e upon zero so due to this it is very very high so speed in from enormously increases damage the motor okay and also uh, <clears throat> so the correct option is c now come to the question number four the equalizing ring in dc shunt generator with lab winding are used for equal distribution of current at bus for the sparkless coming commutation this is the correct option okay because the equalizing ring are used in the in between the lay winding of the dc uh, dc machine to equal distribution for the equal distribution of uh, current uh, current okay so the correct option is a now go to the question number five the bocol's relay is normally used to protect the alternator against the all internal turn fault oil emerge transformer against all inter fault this is the correct option bocol's delay is used for the intent turn fault of the oil emerge transformer okay so the correct option is b now come to the question number six a 400 200 volt transformer a 400 200 volt transformer has the per unit impedance of uh, 0.05 the high voltage volt high voltage side voltage high voltage side voltage required to circulate full load current during the short circuit test okay now come to the solution this is the equivalent circuit and uh, during the short circuit uh, test okay so the so the this is the actual impedance which is per unit multiplied by base impedance okay so the this is the actual impedance now 
which is the value of Z1. Okay. Now full load current, which is power divided by voltage. Okay. Now due to this, uh, the voltage required during the short circuit, which is equal to full load current multiplied by actual impedance. So it will become 20 volt. Okay. So the correct option is A. Now come to the question number seven. Non-loading test non-loading heat run test on the transformer is performed by means of short circuit open circuit core balance test sumpner test correct option is d sumpner test in the sumpner test we use we have to uh, find the temperature maximum temperature capability of the winding so it is known as heat run test on the transformer okay so the correct option is d now come to the question number eight a three phase induction motor is driving full load torque which is independent of speed if the line voltage is dropped to 90 percent of the rated value then the percentage increase in the motor copper losses these are the option now come to the solution we know that it is full load torque which is independent of the speed so the torque is constant okay so if if the torque is uh, constant then the voltage in uh, voltage is reduced by 90 percent okay so the v uh, 0.9 is square so due to this 0.81 okay so the slip will uh, get changed by 1.23 times okay so the if i2 days which is equal to v days upon impedance and due to due to the high due to the loaded condition s is very very slip is very very low due to this x2 is neglected so the i2 days equal to v days upon r2 r2 multiplied by s days okay now put the value of v days and s days then we get 0.9 v and 1.23 s then i2 days will become 1.11 i2 okay so the copper loss which are copper loss that is P copper days which is equal to I2 days square into R2 and I2 days get shifted by 1.11 times of I2 current okay so the copper loss is increased by 23 percent of previous losses okay so the answer is a now come to the question number nine a synchronous generator is feeding power to infinite burst bar at unit power factor if the excitation is now increased then it will feed these are the option now come to the solution this is or working at a nominal excitation unity power factor okay if the excitation will excitation will increase then the it is operating at this point due to this it fed it feeds same power but at lagging power factor so the correct option is b now come to the question number 10 the steam input to input into into a turbo generator connected to infinite bus in is increased which of which of the event will take place now come to the solution if in, in, we increase the mechanical input steam if we increase the steam then the mechanical input will increase from p1 uh, pm1 to pm2 okay due to this armature current will get shifted to i2 i i a2 so due to this v curve and o curve of the synchronous motor synchronous machine are get shifted like this okay okay due to this synchronous generator is working at this point at this point okay now due to this e is not changed but power will change due to this power angle del which also which is also changed okay so the generator will feed more real power to bus bus bar and power angle will increase so the correct option is b now the 11 the copper behaves as a these are the option conductor always because of a copper have many free more free electron okay so the correct option is a now come to the question number 12 assuming the constant transmission efficiency if the voltage in increase n times the size of conductor would be these are the option now come to the solution okay the size of conductor is directly proportional to the current okay 
if and we know that the power equals to vi and the current equals to p upon v if the voltage increase n times then the current gets shifted by 1 by n times okay 